Hey everybody, Maggie Wolfendale here at Belmont Park and I'm accompanied by trainer Linda Rice. Linda, you got your start in horse racing, obviously a big horse racing family and your dad was a trainer at Penn National. Now it's a big jump, I can speak from experience, coming from Penn National here to New York. How did you make that leap? Well, I, uh, I first I went to New Jersey for three years out of college and uh, did New Jersey Gulfstream in the winter and then one winter I came to New York and uh, I decided to stay and uh, the racing secretary asked me what my intentions were I said I was gonna stay here year-round surely and I've been here ever since well that's great now another thing you also do is go to the sales a lot uh, how important is that for your business and uh, what do you look for in horses specifically when you go there well, I um, have a family background in buying and breaking and training young horses, and that's really been my strength. And uh, there's nothing I like better than going to horse auctions and buying yearlings and two-year-olds in training, weanlings. It's, it's like going to Saks Fifth Avenue for me. And uh, so I always add those horses to my stable, try to buy you know, young talent for my clients that I can be excited about you know, down the road in the future. Now, you have had a lot of success with a multitude of horses, some of which are stallions now. Who's been your favorite? City Zip, he's my favorite. He was uh, one of the best two-year-olds, of course, I've ever trained and that Jose Santos had ever ridden, as he says. Now, Linda, you have obviously had a lot of success here in New York and capturing the 2009 Saratoga training titles, just one uh, of your accomplishments. What is the single thing that you think keeps that high-level success going in your barn? Well, I, um, you know, I try to set yearly goals for myself and change things that I'm doing every year and evaluate my own record and what I'm doing. And every year I try to take a look at what I've done and what I need to change to make it better. Whether that is uh, to improve my, my staff, improve the quality of the horses I'm training. Um, so I'm constantly doing that, reevaluating, frankly on a weekly basis, much less a yearly basis. And I think that's a big key to, to keeping moving forward. Well, Linda, thank you so much for your time.